Hey guys, um, I'm back once again, and I had a little bit of free time between some exams and uh, procrastinating some projects and whatnot, and so I, I figured I'd tinker around a little bit more with this um, slime ball free, sticky piston free XP grinder. Um, and so previously what I was doing was there was two pistons which would push some blocks over, um, they'd crush these guys and then pistons over here would push it back, but that was ineffective because um, the, the spiders or whatever was being crushed would get stuck inside of the block and they'd just die. So you wouldn't get any XP drops. Um, I've gone back through and I've increased the complexity, built a little melon farm. Um, I know I said I don't like pistons, but this is an easy way to block these off, and I have like 15 pistons. Um, so a lot has changed, um, and this time it actually works. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is this huge stack of gravel, and this is basically why the, the whole thing works. Um, so you load this, this stack up with gravel, and uh, it sits next to the spiders, and then underneath, just as before, um, you can't see them because I've encased them in stone, but uh, there's a piston here, regular piston, not sticky. And there's a piston right underneath it facing in the same direction. And close this back up. When you push the button, um, it turns off this redstone torch, which turns on that um, redstone torch on that side, which in turn briefly activates both pistons. Both of those pistons push the gravel into the spiders. Spiders get crushed for um, however many cycles it was before. Um, it actually crushes them for a very slightly longer amount of time, I think. And um, then just as before, the signal comes through here, turns this torch off. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this is different, actually. Um, the signal comes through here. Instead of activating the other pistons to push the blocks back, since these are gravel, um, what we have underneath, and I don't know if I can show this, um, but there is a piston. I think I can show this safely. This might be an outtake. Yeah, there's a piston here, and all the spiders are up above it. And so um, this A blocks the spiders. Don't want to get too close. Um, but also, it, it holds the gravel up while the gravel is there. And so when this light turns off, or when this redstone torch turns off, um, it deactivates that piston very briefly, and the gravel that's there can fall through, and I don't know if you noticed, but there's a half block underneath. And when gravel lands on a half block, um, I'll demonstrate for those of you that don't know, when gravel lands on a half block, it turns into its respective floating item entity. So what happens there is the gravel falls through, um, the piston comes back, and so the gravel's now gone, and um, the only thing that's left are the spiders. The reason this works and the last one didn't was because previously the, I was using cobblestone, and the cobblestone, um, the spiders got pushed with the cobblestone because the, the piston was physically pushing them. Now what's happening is the gravel's falling on its own, and the gravel doesn't take the spiders with it. And so that's really effective, um, and I found that it works really well. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to shut that off, see if there's any more guys kind of just chillaxing down below. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they've all jumped up, um, which is good. And the reason I did this, um, I realized that when the spiders were coming through, and I didn't know this would even be a problem, um, underneath, uh, new ones would be coming in and they would just sit on the bottom. And then when the piston opened and closed, they'd fall down through and they'd end up kind of on that half block. So that was obviously not good. So let's give this a shot. I tried it once before and it worked pretty successfully. I actually had a bunch of really horrible failures None of which, again, I recorded, but all occasions I got ambushed by about 30 cave spiders. I mean, not 30, maybe like 16. 
Um, Alright, I'm going to come up here, have my sword at the ready just in case. You can see... Oh, you cheeky bastard. Uh, you can see sometimes they glitch through, which obviously isn't acceptable. Um, I'm still working on that, but now they're just kind of chillaxing here, and I can just hammer away at this huge pile of them. Uh, it seems like when there's a lot of them, um, there's a greater chance that one or two of them will glitch through. Again, it doesn't really... it's not too much of a problem because they're they're very small. They don't do a whole lot of damage besides poisoning you. Um, so that's a, kind of a non-issue. And then down below, just as before, you can collect the rest of the drops and whatever XP kind of managed to get away. So that's, that's about a level worth of XP there, um, depending on how many you have. Uh, I'd imagine that if I put more cobblestone blocks around, like this, um, it would be safer, they wouldn't glitch through. I honestly am not concerned. Uh, it's, it's very successful. Just gotta make sure you keep... Um, <laughs> uh, keep one or two uh, swords handy, just in case. Um, come on up here. Come on up. Come on. Um, yeah, it's it's very good. It's it's worked very well so far. I'm very pleased by it, and um, it doesn't use any slime balls, no sticky pistons at all. So um, if you are in a world and you don't have slime balls, then this is. Uh, extremely useful. Um, we'll do it again, uh, just with these few that have spawned. Make sure, uh, over here, to this guy, we're gonna try and get him to come up and join the party. Um, I'm not actually sure what triggers them to kind of climb the wall, but it seems to be kind of random. Um, sometimes when they're chasing you, I guess. Um, if they just absolutely refuse to climb the wall, I just, I just kill it. It's fine. Um, and so, push the button. Probably also be careful of that redstone torch there. I might move that. I don't know what happened with this guy here. Okay, he's fine. Then we'll just go down. Come on through. Okay. Go down and collect the loot. Um, you see, he's very productive, and I mean, even in that short period of time, so close to having melons. So close to having melons. Um, even in that short period of time, it, it did a great job. The only consideration that you really have to make is to make sure you keep this well stocked with gravel, otherwise you'll have bigger problems than um, not having a whole lot of XP at the end. Um, so yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, suggestions, ideas, um, you want to tell me how bad I suck and how I, I'm terrible at finding slimes and this is a waste because normal people use sticky pistons or play creative or just hack some slime balls in or maybe you make your sticky pistons out of snow and you want to tell me how much of a dork I am that's fine uh, leave a comment, subscribe, rate, you know what to do um, look at this, look at this little adorable melon farm me just shitting around with some pistons here I'll break these guys it's fine um, but yeah let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.